So I'm trying to improve the cut quality with my Atlas lathe. Um, I just did three different. Ow, oh, that's hostile. Three different uh, depths with the slowest feed that's available on the Atlas is actually quite fast. Unfortunately, it's. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Point zero zero four two. So that's four thousandths per revolution. I would rather have like one thousandths or a half a thousandth as my lowest speed. Um, but the deeper cut, the deepest cut I did, uh, has a very good finish. And then about half that also has a very good finish. But once I get down to a fairly shallow cut, uh, it's much more, uh, many more grooves. It's almost like a very, very fine thread. It's so bad. And this one is uh, earlier experimenting going outwards feed with a uh, 2000 cut, trying to do like a very finishing pass. In the actuality, this going outwards 2000 um, turned better than coming inwards at 2000 But this deep cut, which is uh, 3 16 thickness, an eighth to 3 16 seems to be pretty much the best cut I can get. Um, it actually bogs down the, the lathe. It's such a deep cut. I'm going to try and recreate that again um, by cutting off more than one shoulder at a time. Uh, bear with me. i got to put my safety glasses on with one hand and get out of the line of chips or that uh, curl it, it creates. I don't know if you can even hear me over how loud this machine is. These are so hot and sharp. But the that cut is about as equal as the thousands pass. So I'm thinking some external vibration or something is the cause of it. Uh, let me go back to. Something I've learned is this is actually a special pulley that's for wood cutting. So this is the faster of the two uh, speeds, and this is the metal cutting mode. I had learned or heard that, don't know how accurate it is, a carbide bit, and this is a Harbor Freight carbide bit, which actually is holding up quite well. Uh, that carbide should be faster than high-speed steel. So this is the slowest speed of the wood cutting uh, speed, which I don't even know what that is. I have no way to, to accurately measure. Um, I'm still learning. Obviously, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep this as stiff as possible. I used another cutting bit as the spacer to get my height to dead center. Um, I'm using the tailstock to minimize any flex. Uh, where I cut between close and far on the shaft doesn't seem to make a difference. Uh, it, but actually, the first pass of that was a little better than once it got deep, deep. But that's a pretty deep cut for a single pass, a roughing cut. Um, I'm pleased with how easy it will be to uh, cut down to close to size. I'm just at a loss as to how I can actually make the shaft or part a usable finish other than cheating with emery cloth or something.